Hello everyone, today I wanted to bring you a bit of an update on the secret slim wallet after more than a year and a half of daily use. So I got this wallet in June of 2019, so it's been uh, around one year, seven months since I've been using it every day. And this is a bit of an update on uh, my thoughts basically on how it has uh, held up during this time so first of all and so far as the leather you can see that um, I guess it got darker from when I first got it you can check um, my initial unboxing and review of this I think it mainly got darker really got a bit of scuffs ob obviously in there and on the back same thing but all in all, I think it's held up pretty well through this daily use. The stitching has also not given me any trouble. Now on the inside, um, as you can see, I customized it a bit. I got a Hitch and Timber sticker on the card protector there. I just love Hitch and Timber products and I really like their logo as well and it kind of fit in there really well so I thought I'd just give it a bit of personal touch you know. Um, the card protector has also been very good and has not given me any trouble whatsoever so far as the mechanism and how it works. So it still works really really well, fans out the cards evenly, big thumbs up really on how this the card protector mechanism works. Um, inside you can also see the leather in here, kind of similar to the outside, perhaps it's a, just slightly uh, less dark than the outside. The middle portion got a bit more um, worn out because of course the this part of the card protector rests over there all the time. Uh, now, as regards what I've been carrying in this, so obviously you have six cards in the card protector, so no problem with those. And on the inside, um, I usually fold my cash like this, I have a couple of notes in there. And this has uh, uh, worked well. What I've noticed is it gets really kind of dirty on the underside. I have this in my pocket most of the time. So it, the glue from, because as you can see, this is glued to the card protector. So it got a bit, you know, dirtied up, I guess. Uh, the glue itself on the very uh, bottom portion, it kind of um, unstuck, I guess, got unstuck, but it's still pretty well attached to it, it's just this bottom portion and you know I, I was worried that it was gonna flop out eventually but it just um, you know stopped doing that after a while and it's it, it, I would say it still worked pretty well for me apart from this kind of look which is a bit you know meh but all in all it it works fine I suppose as regards the inner pockets, I have a couple of extra cards in here. And what I've noticed is that um, this particular card, I, this is an access card, and I used to put this this way. And what I noticed was that the uh, the little raised portion here from the tape actually was becoming imprinted on the front side of the leather because it would be you know pushing up against it so I turned it this way and that that solved it so yeah a couple of extra cards in there um, and over here I keep the Victorian Ox Swiss card classic I found this really useful to just have in my wallet it has um, some really useful mini tools in there and I've used it quite often actually so I found it very useful to just have one in my wallet all the time and uh, 
having said that, it did. Um, I suppose this is uh, the the Swiss card is pretty much like a couple, if not three cards in thickness. So if you see them like this, this is two cards here. So yeah, it's even more actually. I think it's like three to four cards in thickness. Like three cards. But yeah, I, as I said, I found this really useful to have, so I've been carrying it around with me. Um, it did get, of course, a bit bulky through all the the cards and stuff I used. So over here you can see how this portion got a bit uh, raised up, since it also has the cache in there. But all in all, I think it still it still was a pretty good footprint. I dropped this like twice, I think, through throughout this year and a half, and uh, nothing came out. The only thing that happened was a little scuff mark over here in the corner. I think that was that was it. So yeah, let me just put all the cards back now. I decided to do this video because I am actually looking into getting a new wallet pretty soon and I figured I'd give you a review of my thoughts on the secret wallet and how it has performed for me. Uh, so yeah, you can see it got a bit bulky on that side. But all in all, I think it's still a pretty decent footprint for what you're getting. I had the, of course, the paper wallet uh, magic coin pouch for my coins. And this is the reason really why I'm looking to get into another wallet, because uh, first of all, I just wanted a change after a year and a half of this. And I'm looking to get a, a wallet with an actual coin compartment in it, so I can ditch this. Uh, don't get me wrong, I still like it, and it has also worked pretty well all these years, but yeah, I'm just looking for a change just to have something, uh, you know, combined, so I don't have to carry two things with me, basically. So yeah, uh, as regards the secret wallet, it's a thumbs up for me. For me, it's uh, a very, very capable wallet if you're looking to get a slim, uh, minimalist wallet which unfortunately doesn't have um, coin capabilities although some people just toss them in here but I find that's not very secure at all so yeah I definitely recommend the secret slim wallet and I hope you find this video useful as I said once I get my new wallet whatever that will be I will probably be posting my thoughts on it as well I hope um, you enjoyed this video guys if you have any comments or questions feel free to post them as usual down below and I'll uh, get to them as soon as I can thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye